Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to explain what are hex files and what are object files. Then I will explain how to create or generate a hex file and finally how to upload the hex file to an AT89S52 microcontroller. So first of all, let's look at the function of assembler. Now the main function of assembler is to translate the source code to object code. An example of an assembler or a compiler is the EDSIM51 uh, assembler and the input to the EDSIM51 uh, or assembler would be the source code. Now the source code could, could be in the form of an assembler language or it could be in a high level language like C and so you, we input the source code to the assembler or compiler and the output would be hex, a hex file and or object file. Uh, we're going to focus more on the hex file in this video. Here's an example of a source code in the AT51 assembly language. Now basically this source code is a text file. So what that means is you can read this uh, source code with any editor software or even a microprocessor. Oh no, sorry, um, word processor software. And here's an example of a source code in the C language. Again, this is just pure text file. You can open it up with any text editor or a word processing software. And here's uh, the EDSIM51 uh, assembler or simulator, which we're going to be use, using to generate the hex file or you may wish to use a more professional uh, commercial software like the Kyle uh, compiler. I will be using the Kyle compiler in future videos. Now let's briefly look at the uh, object code file. The object code basically contains binary codes and these codes are not readable. Here's an example. Uh, there are some rec recognizable uh, characters, but most of them are not uh, readable or recognizable. So these basically are the binary codes. And the object file must be converted or translated to the hex file uh, format so that it can be read. And here's an example of a hex file, an Intel hex file. There is another format called the Motorola uh, file format, but we're not going to uh, look at that one. We are more concerned with the Intel hex file format. Okay, so now we're going to look at how to generate hex files. For this, we need to use the EDSIM51 uh, simulator uh, with its built-in assembler. Okay, so we are back in the uh, EDSIM51 uh, simulator. Um, let me just clear this. Let me just load the source code. Um, I'm upload. Uh, sorry, this is not the one I want. I want the ASM file. I've uploaded the AS ASM file and the .hex file that I use for this video in the link uh, below the video. So uh, we uploaded the source code here. So the first thing we need to do is to assemble the code. So we hit this button, assemble source code. Okay, now that it's assembled, 
you need to create the hex file. To do that in EDSIM 51, you need to save the assemble code. So go to save, click on save, assembly source code. Right, um, we need to change this extension to dot hex and the file type you need to select in Intel hex file. You need to make sure that you are in this uh, file type, the Intel hex file type, the dot uh, hex. If you don't, if you remain in .asm, this thing will not work. So you need to remember this. So make sure that it's in the uh, the file type is .hex. Change the extension to .hex, uh, and then save it. And for in my case, because the uh, file the .hex file already exists. Uh, because I've done that and it says override yes and another message pops up confirm hex file format warning when saving in hex Intel hex format symbol information labels assembler directive etc is not saved only the machine code is saved continue yes now you need to make sure that you see this uh, message every time you say you create the hex file if you don't see this message then something is wrong so uh, in, our, in, in this case it's yes and that's it the hex file is created okay the next thing to do is the upload the hex file to the microcontroller now, to upload the uh, hex file to the microcontroller, you will need a programmer. And here's the picture of the programmer that I've used uh, for this video and a complete detailed description of uh, this programmer can be found in my previous video, that is video 18 on this same channel. If you have not watched that video, please do because that, that you video will give you a complete description of how to build this programmer. Now, in addition to the uh, programmer, you will need the software. Now, the software that I've used to upload the hex file is uh, this, this software called AVR Dude uh, GUI. Uh, again, the complete description of this uh, AVR Dude GUI can be found in video 18 uh, on this very same channel. Please uh, go view that video. It will tell you how to use this software to upload the uh, file to the microcontroller. Now, having uploaded the uh, file to the uh, microcontroller, you need to remove the microcontroller from the programmer and plug it into the target board. Here is the schematic of the target board. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You have pin 4T and pin 31 connected to VCC and pin 9 is connected to uh, a capacitor resistor network. Uh, this is for the purpose of uh, auto reset when it and there's a switch that it con is connected across the capacitor that is this switch is for manual reset and pin 18 and 19 is connected to a 12 megahertz uh, crystal and uh, both ends of the crystal is connected to a 33 picofarad uh, capacitor which in turn is connected to uh, to the ground and uh, port 1 uh, bit 0 and port 1 bit 1 they are connected to uh, two LEDs respectively and the cathode of both the LEDs are connect 
are connected to ground and basically the program that we have uploaded into the microcontroller will flash these two LEDs. The uh, schematic of the target board is included in the link uh, given below. Okay, that's it for this video. The source code and the hex file used in this video is with the link below this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.